So what we see in many businesses today is a couple of what I call dysfunctional models. The first one is where the business owner decides they need to develop themselves. So they do some training, education and development. They come up with lots of great ideas that they'd like to implement into their business. And they go back to their business but because their team don't have the skills or the abilities to assist in the implementation, this disengagement starts to happen and starts to appear. And I call it the disengagement gap. And so the business owner, excited about the opportunities, goes back, but the, the team just hear ideas and no action plan. Uh, this means that there's a disengagement from the team because it could be, oh, here goes the owner just talking about all these great ideas, but we know nothing gets done. So we'll just nod our head and act as though we're excited, but really at the end of the day, we know that action is rare in this space. So the team are disengaged, the business owner gets stressed, they get frustrated and, uh, and there's a lack of results or an inability to produce the results that the business knows that they're truly capable of. So that's the first dysfunctional team model. The second dysfunctional team model is whereby the business owner feels that they know everything and it's the team that need developing. So what they do is they say, listen, I'm sorted to themselves, but hey, there's some great workshops on these particular topics. You go along because you guys need it. And they may not actually say that, but that's what they're thinking. So initially, the skills of the business owner are at a higher level than the team players. But over time, the team players grow and develop in their own skills around leadership, communication, implementation, productivity. They go back with these ideas and concepts to the business owner. But because the business owner themselves isn't growing and increasing their awareness, what happens is the team players don't see any benefits of going back with ideas. In fact, they go back disenchanted and the, the disenchantment gap starts to arise. So where they go back and say, well, we're growing and developing, we can see there's opportunities and ideas for the business, but the business owner, well, they're stagnant, they're stale, and nothing gets done. So what happens again is results stagnate. And team players become disenchanted, they get frustrated, and eventually they leave for a business and wanna go and work in an environment which supports their growth and development. The business owner then blames the training, you see what happens, we send them the training and they get up and leave. Unfortunately, that does happen not too many times, but uh, it does take place. But there are some ways that we can head both of these off. And it's about investing not only in yourself as a business owner, but in your team as well. So the functional business model is where you as the business owner is growing and developing, and you're also bringing and grooming up your team players as well. Starting off with your senior team players, you know, growing and developing their leadership skills, how to handle challenges, problems, conflict, become better communicators, better team players as well. And as you're growing and your team are growing, the business grows and succeeds together. I want you to think about those skills and abilities that you're not taught at trade school, you're not taught in the traditional sense, but these are life skills that when your team as a whole work together on, produces this magic environment where it's a pleasure to go to work every single day. And again, these are more of the softer skills, communication, relationship building, how to deal with challenges in the workplace, managing conflict, time management, productivity, how to serve and, and add value to the customer's experience. A lot of those things, if you could inject into your team and also have your leaders involved in growing, developing their leadership skills as well, how much easier would that make your life? So I want you to contemplate, are you heading down the dysfunctional team model where you're just growing and developing yourself? Or would you like to head down the functional model where you can see down the track, you can invest in your team and in yourself and you'll get a return from that. One of the faultiest patterns of thinking a business owner can have is when they say, I know, but if, you know, what happens if I train my team and they leave? Well, the opposite could be, what happens if I don't and they stay? You know, training is an investment that you may not see immediate results, but if you keep planting seeds, creating the environment where your team players can grow and flourish, you'll have a great business that produces results, you'll get great rewards from as well, you'll build your brand in the marketplace, and it will also help you attract better quality team players in the future.